Hello guys, in today's video, we're going to check out the best battery lawn mower in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these battery lawn mower, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality battery lawn mower according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Greenworks 25223 Cordless Lawn Mower. Early spring testing and inconsistent grass height didn't allow us to come up with a reliable square footage assessment of this mower, but we're impressed enough with it to say that. Although smaller than a full-size option, it's nicely designed and equipped with features you hardly ever see in this class and price. You get 10-inch rear tires to help it better roll over washboard surfaces, dual batteries, and three-function capability, mulch, side discharge, and back. Icing on the cake includes its steel deck with seven positions from 1-1-8 to 3 inches, all controlled by a single spring-loaded lift mechanism. The deck is continuous from the rear wheels to the front, and a lift-up hatch at the back provides access to the back. Speaking of that bag, if we were to ask for one improvement, it would be for through the handle back access. That's a small complaint, though, for a fine mid-size battery mower. Moving on to the next and number two with Makita XM Leaptone LXD Lithium-Ion Electric Lawn Mower. Makita builds this mower for contractors, but it's a good choice if you have a lot of grass to mow and need three functions, mulch bag and side discharge. Its credentials are solid, a 21-inch steel deck, 9-inch tires front and rear, single lever deck height adjustment, and an outstanding cut quality. Its bagging ability will give a gas engine mower a run for its money. The operator control panel is on the left. There you can monitor charge on the four batteries, two in each bay, adjust drive speed from 1.5 mph to 3 mph, and set the motor speed to quiet, at which point it operates at a reduced 2300 RPM for less noise and increased run time. Its design emphasis is on simplicity and durability, so there are a few trade-offs. First, the handle features a very rugged bolted construction, so it doesn't fold forward easily for compact storage. Second, there's a manual selector switch to take you from one battery bank to the other. When the first pair of batteries runs down and the mower stops, you bend down and switch to the second position and its pair of batteries. In all, this is a great mower with the bag that lifts up through the handle, precise speed selection, and good mowing capability on level ground, uphill, side hill and down. The number three position is held by Skill SM4 1910 10 battery powered lawn mower. We have long familiarity with Skill power tools, but this was the first time we tried the company's mowers. We were pleased with this two function machine's performance. Its cut quality was very good, and its bagging was also respectable. It does not side discharge. The SM4910 is also well mannered. The handle folds forward for storage, telescopes in length, and easily adjust through three angles. The bag does not lift up easily through the handle. However, the handle adjustability, combined with knob-controlled ground speed, make the mower very adaptable. Its single lever deck height adjustment gives you a maximum of four inches of clearance from the ground to the bottom of the deck. Raised way up, the mower looks like an off-road vehicle. When the grass is tall, you'll be glad you have that much height adjustment. The underside of the deck is a well-shaped dome. It's among the easiest decks we have seen to clean of moist grass clippings. Slip out the battery, turn the mower on its side, and with a couple of wipes, you're done. Next at number four, we have Black and Decker Simo 1640 Max Electric Lawn Mower. At 40 volts and weighing under 40 pounds, plastic deck mowers like this may be the future for people who have tiny yards. It's a decent little machine for average high grass under non-strenuous conditions. That makes it completely out of its element in tall thick grass. But that's not what the mower is designed for. On the other hand, its life lit, mid-fold handle, and 18-inch width allow you to pick the thing up and put it on a shelf when you're done, even laying it on its side because the plastic deck is molded into a straight line on the left and right sides. A final benefit is its conveniently located single lever on the left to raise and lower the mower deck. The number five position is held by Works WG753 Nitro Battery Powered Lawn Mower. 
The Works is a great little mower with a ton of nicely designed features. Its single lever deck height adjustment is among the best we've seen, and it has one of the best fold forward handle locking mechanisms ever developed. A pair of orange levers at the top of the handle. The bag lifts and drops straight up and down between the handlebars, while a neat little pivoting lever closes the back of the deck for mulching or opens it for bagging. And speaking of bagging, this is one of the better cordless baggers out there for it. Will it handle rough and tumble mowing? We raised up the deck, snapped on the robust side discharge port, and walked it into the weeds. To answer the question, it's performance theory satisfactory. Higher voltage mowers rule in the tall grass test, but the sweet spot for this light, fast stepping mower is zipping around the well manicured landscape, bagging as it goes. The number six position is dominated by Sun Joe 24 of X217 mulching lawn mower. The Sun Joe is very similar to the black and decker above in its overall design and intent. It's meant for small, neat yards. So, in that respect, this is a nice little mower. Its cut quality is quite good and, overall, the mower is extremely easy to use. Still, we have to say that it could use better wheels. Those with open faces on the inside tend to collect dirt and grass clippings, and we weren't fond of the fixed handle. Since it can't fold, that increases the space you need to store the mower. If that isn't an issue for you, the Sun Joe will neatly, easily, and inexpensively get the job done. Moving on to the next and number seven with Ego Power Plus. Anyone that doubts that an electric mower can't rival the power of gas models hasn't used an Ego at 62.6 pounds. This machine is one of the biggest and heaviest in my test group. That said, the Ego Power Plus definitely, whether cutting grass or barreling through low brush, this mower performed like a tank. Where are other lesser mowers stalled? It was simply unstoppable. Despite its heft, the Ego Power Plus was a cinch to drive around the yard. I found it fast and stable, too. I also appreciated that I could engage its variable speed engine without having to spin the mower's blade. Other noteworthy features include a wide, 21-inch cutting platform and 56-volt battery that works with Ego's entire line of yard power tools. The number 8 position is held by Rael by 1 plus HP 18-volt brushless. Just because a lawn mower isn't self-propelled doesn't mean it's hard to use. Case in point, the Ryo by 16 inch one plus HP 18 volt push mower. Even though it's extremely compact and weighs just 34.5 pounds, this tiny machine packs a punch. It's stalled less than some of the larger, more powerful mowers in my test group, and the Ryo by's lightweight made it simple for me to push. This machine uses Ryo by standard 18 volt rechargeable batteries too. They're the same lithium ion power packs that the company uses in its popular line of home power tools. The mower comes with two batteries plus a charger in case you don't have one sitting around. Its 16 inch cutting width, however, is on the narrow side. Still, for those with smaller yards, a quarter of an acre or less the surprising power of this mower will suit their needs just fine. Next at number nine, we have Greenworks Ford of 16 inch electric push lawn mower. Battery powered lawn mowers are often less expensive than their gas counterparts. And this push mower from Greenworks is an unbeatable value for anyone with a small yard. The compact push mower weighs just 37.5 pounds, making it incredibly easy to handle. And it is a modest 16 inch cutting deck with five cutting height options. However, its 40 volt battery delivers up to 45 minutes of runtime per charge and it can be charged back up in around two hours. The Greenworks Push Lawn Mower can either mulch or bag your grass clippings, and it comes with a grass collection bag to do so. It's easy to start up with a push of a button, and the handles fold down for more compact storage. The only major downside is that you need to remove the battery from the charger once it's powered up if you don't. It can impact the longevity of the power unit. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Makita 18 in. 18 volt X2 LXD lithium ion push lawn mower. For those with yards of one slash three acre or less, the Makita push lawn mower is a great value. It's fairly compact with just an 18 inch cutting deck, but the machine comes with four batteries that deliver a total of around 40 minutes of runtime per charge. The unit has a commercial grade steel deck and offers 10 cutting heights, but the highest setting is three inches, which may be a bit too low if you are cutting through overgrown grass. This push mower can be used to bag, 
mulch, or side discharge grass clippings, and the included catcher bag holds up to 1.7 bushels. The handle has a rubberized grip for comfort, and the machine even features a quiet mode that provides a constant speed to minimize any revving. That's all for today. We upload all types of garden products and garden accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.